This video is going to show you how to properly use the review and flag buttons located at the top of every mathematics end of year assessment. When I click the review button one time, a new screen will pop up. First off, this is a very easy way to navigate to any question on this assessment. And you can see there are 39. If I wanted to navigate right to question 7 to view it, notice it would take me right to question 7. When I want to go back, I can click review and go back to question 1. Very easy. You can also use your two arrows located at the top, but the review button will get you there quicker. I'm going to go back into review and I'm going to show you that the status column here will tell you one of a few things. It will tell you if you did not view a problem. It will also tell you if you did not answer a problem. Lastly, it will tell you if you've answered a problem. Now notice, the only problem on here that I did not answer is problem one, and I did that with purpose. At the end of every section, you should go back and hit the review button to make sure that you have everything answered. It should all look just like this where it says answered with your green uh, circle with the checkbox. I'm going to go back to the question for a second. Let's imagine this question absolutely baffled me. I couldn't figure out the muffins or the time. In that moment, I can hit the flag button and it will tell me when you go back to review that I flagged it. In other words, I'm going to go back to the question, I can't figure out question one. And I'm going to go on because I don't want to spend any more time on this. Okay? At the end of a section, if you have time, you obviously go back to review and anything with a flag you would go back and address. So I would need to go right to question one and click view and now I could spend more time figuring out how many minutes I needed to answer this problem. When I was okay and put an answer in, I can hit the unflag button or hit the flag button again and it will unflag and then in the review column it will not be there. Now as I go back to the question on question one the correct answer is 30 minutes. So I'm going to put that answer in and notice now when I click review it's going to change to answer. At the end of every section you should go back, click the review button, deal with any problems that were flagged, unflag them, and ensure that in every one of these boxes under status it will say answered. Notice also that you can toggle between three different things. All, any questions not answered, and notice it's blank because I answered them all, and then any flagged questions, they would be here as well. So for instance, if I go back to the question and I eliminate my answer and I flag it and go back to review, notice it's not answered and it's flagged. So now when I click on not answered, I have question one and then flagged, I have question one as well. But the minute I put my answer in and I go back, I'm gonna unflag it for review, notice it's gone. The review button and the flag button are great test taking tools that will help you see which answers you've answered, any problems you did not view, and any problems you did not answer. Make sure you use these tools wisely.